Stop thinking, start stealing. These are five marketing and sales tactics that you can steal today from the world's best brands and implement into your business. Number one, Starbucks. Next time you drive through the Starbucks line, you order a coffee, whatever you are, whatever your order, pause for a second and listen. At the end of your order, they will say, anything else? And this is part of their sales script. This happens at every Starbucks across the world. You order a coffee, maybe a piece of coffee cake, that's what my girls love, and they'll say, anything else? And that is a sales tactic to ask, do you wanna buy more? Do you wanna give us more money? Do you wanna keep spending? Do this in your services. When you're meeting with a client or a customer, you're having a prospect and you say, yeah, we, we can definitely make an infographic for you. Anything else? And then just hit the mute button. Physically or in person, just mute yourself and pause and wait and see if they need anything else. They won't say it if you don't ask. Number two, Netflix. The next time you settle in to watch a show, when you turn on and click that button on Netflix, do you know that sound that pops up? Right, it's just like that. All of a sudden, you listen to that and you get kind of cozy, you wanna grab that popcorn, you're ready to settle in and watch the show. This is a brilliant marketing tactic. What Netflix is doing is actually using audio, using sound to make you have a feeling. Every time you hear that sound, you wanna settle in for a show with some popcorn and just binge on Netflix, right? This is applying a sound and connecting a sound to a brand. And you can do that too. If you have a podcast, if you have a YouTube channel, using audio or a sound, it's one of the strongest triggers to our memory, just like scent. You put audio in there and we connect a feeling or emotion to a sound. You can do that too. Number three, the Amazon bundle. You've done this before. You're, you have something ready to add to your shopping cart on Amazon. You scroll down, you just check, check on the price, what's the best one to buy. And then you see people who buy this, also buy this. People who buy this, buy this. This is bundle economics applied brilliantly by Amazon. They know if you have this, you likely need that. We'll put it together and maybe we'll even give you a deal. You can do this in your services company as well. In my time at Lemonly, we always said buy the infographic and we'll make it into a PowerPoint deck. Get the animated video and we'll also turn it into micro content. It was so easy. We just called them upgrades. You can call them add-ons, whatever you want. You can bundle it together. If you have two services, two products that do actually fit together and add more value to your customer, make sure they see the bundle. Give them the bundle option. Maybe there's a bundle price. Put it in front of them and let them check it and add it to their shopping cart. Number four, Harvard application process. Now, if you ever applied for college, all colleges are gonna make you apply to get in, right? A Harvard's gonna be more competitive than say the local tech school, but they're all gonna make you apply to make sure that you are the right fit for them. Now, have your clients apply to be your clients. I know that sounds crazy. We wanna think and take as many clients as we can get. We'll work with whoever's gonna pay us money. If you invert that process and make them apply to be a part of your coaching program, apply to be a, a part of your summer retreat or apply to be a part of your next cohort, whatever it might be, it sort of changes the psychology, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of friction to make and elevate sort of the value proposition, the feeling around your brand, the exclusivity, they're willing to pay more to be a part of what you have. So just a little bit of application process. There's a reason why it's really hard to get into Harvard but also there's a reason why Harvard is really expensive. If you're lucky to get in and you get through the application process, you too can spend $80,000 a year to go to school. Number five is Uber's 20 and 20. I don't know if it's still the 20 and 20 deal, but that's what I call, if you remember the early days of Uber, they would say, we'll give you $20 if you refer somebody to join Uber. And not only will they get $20 off their first ride, you'll get $20 off too. It's the 20 and 20 referral mechanism. This is brilliant and you can take this, whether it be a dollar amount or a percentage and apply it to your services company. Essentially what you're trying to do is create a referral network, but you're giving a win-win to both sides. So if I'm gonna recommend my favorite graphic designer that you should use, and hopefully they'll get a discount by the referral, but so I, I will too for their next service. So if you're thinking about how you can find maybe channel partners or other people to connect with your product or service, consider offering a double-sided referral bonus. Both people win, the customer is happy, you get a new client, bingo. Those are five marketing and sales tactics that you can take today from the world's best brands. Stop overthinking things and just start stealing.